Hi there. Now in this question, we're given the complex numbers z1 equals 2 plus 3i, z2 equals 3 plus 2i, and z3 equals a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. And in part a, we've got to find the exact value of the modulus of z1 plus z2 for two marks. And then, given that w equals z1 times z3, all divided by z2, for part b, find w in terms of a and b, giving your answer in the form x plus i, y, where x and y are real numbers for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you can just fast forward if you just want to see the answers and methods quickly. Otherwise I'll take you slowly through the work solution. So first of all then in part A what we've got to do then is find the modulus of Z1 plus Z2. So if we add together Z1 and Z2, taking the real parts, 2 add 3, that's 5. Imaginary parts, 3i plus 2i, that's going to be 5i. So we've got to find then the modulus of the complex number 5 plus 5i. And if I drew this on an argon diagram, it's going to look something like this. So when it comes to working out the modulus, it's just the length of the complex number. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem here, and it's going to be equal to the square root then of the sum of the squares of these two sides. 5 squared plus 5 squared. In other words, square root of 50, which can be broken down to the square root of 25 times the square root of 2, which is going to be 5 root 2. OK? Now, in the next part, we're given then, for part B that is, we're given that W, let's just copy it down here, equals Z1 times Z3, and it's all divided by Z2. So, how do we work out what W is and give it in the form X plus IY? Well, let's just put in our complex numbers, Z1 times Z3, first of all. Well, Z1 then is 2 plus 3i. And we're multiplying this with Z3, which is A plus BI. And this is divided by Z2, which is 3 plus 2I. Now, in order to get this into this format, I need to create a real number in the denominator here. So we multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugate of 3 plus 2I, which is 3 minus 2I. So we multiply top and bottom then by 3 minus 2i. I'll put that as in brackets. So multiplying out the top then, I'm going to uh, just do the 2 plus 3i with the 3 minus 2i first and then multiply it afterwards with the a plus bi. So we'll do 2 times 3, which is 6. 2 times minus 2i, that's minus 4i. And then we'll do 3i times the 3, so that's plus 9i. And then 3i times minus 2i, that's going to be minus 6i squared. But i squared is minus 1, so it's going to be plus 6. And this then, if we put it in brackets, is multiplied with the a plus bi. So I'll just put that in brackets as well. And it's divided by... And if we multiply 3 plus 2i with 3 minus 2i, 3 times 3 is 9. And then we've got 3 times minus 2i, which is minus 6i. But then we do 2i times 3, which is 6i, and that cancels out. Finally, you're going to have 2i times minus 2i, which is going to be minus 4 times i squared. But i squared is minus 1. Four time, minus 4 times minus 1 is going to be plus 4. All right. So what we've got now is if we just tidy this top bracket up, 6 plus 6 there is 12, and you've got minus 4i plus 9i, which is going to be plus 5i. And this is multiplied with a plus.
plus bi and it's all divided by 13. So let's expand the top out now. 12 times a, 12a, and then you've got 12 times bi, so that's 12 bi, and then 5i times a, that's plus 5ai, and finally 5i times bi, well that'll be 5b times i squared, which is going to be minus 5b. And this is all divided by 13. So grouping up the real parts now, 12a minus 5b, okay, 12a minus 5b. And if we divide this real part by 13, then we've got one part of our complex number, the real part here, x. And then for the imaginary part, if we just pull out, say, i in the front of a bracket, we've got, well, we'll start with the a part here, 5a, and then we've got plus 12b. And that is divided by 13. So we've got it in the format x plus iy. Okay?